the orange one here and we are right now um if you're coming in from the last episode you know what was going on but if not i figured i should give a little explanation we've just been spat on i think and we can't really see any enemies but we know that there's some around here so i'm just gonna take a step back okay there is a zombie dog there I don't know if we're going to be able to attack them or not. Yeah, actually we were. Perfect. Okay, so let's just run back just a little bit. And I'm going to reload because it sounds like they're still by the car. Um, I suppose I really should wait until I can actually see what I'm fighting before I make any adjustments. Yeah, see, that's not so bad. And hopefully we can deal with these zombies um, in this episode, and we'll see what we want to do after that. I think I was pretty loaded down last I checked. And we're covered in more bile. Fantastic. Uh... Well, that probably means that the dude that's spitting us is probably right next to us, right? Um, let's go ahead and bring the visor down. It's not like we're, our vision's gonna get any worse, you know? And then we'll get a little bit more protection. Yeah, this dude's going down. Sure. Uh, we're gonna reload, maybe get this up now. Yeah. We'll just wait here. If you look really closely, our face is all messed up from being boomered. For some reason, that just saying boomered really reminded me of um, Battlestar Galactica. I was actually trying to get back into that show and rewatch some of it. Oop, there, are, there's apparently some smashing that's coming from the north. Uh, we'll take the Neko wafers. God, this is so annoying being blind. Well, whatever it was to our north is coming down to say hello, so we're about to find out. Tough zombie. Yeah, tough zombies actually aren't that tough. They did grab us, though. We broke out of the grab. Oh. He's biting us. Let's go ahead and run, get some distance. Did I hear something south of us? No, I, I'm not actually hearing anything south of us. I think it's just the zombie that we can't see. Sometimes your hearing can be a little bit off. Did bite our left leg though. It's kind of annoying. But after this dude's down, hopefully we'll be able to actually see being able to see and not being glowing will make raiding at night a little bit easier. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. We'll take those batteries for sure. And I actually, I might pick up the Camera Pro as well because it's got those uh, lenses in it which are pretty nice. Okay, there's something else around here. At least one other zombie. T a tough one. Man, we are... Taking a while to get our vision back here. I'm just gonna go back up north. Maybe stop running. Because I think we can get our vision back pretty soon. And I'm just curious to see if... Yeah. It looks like the game's not gonna give us that. We're gonna have to just take this dude out. I think there might be two zombies, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's an acidic zombie. I prefer not to get meleeed by an acidic zombie. That's not going to be fun for us. So, yeah, I apologize. It's going to be a little bit of us jumping around because of our lack of vision right now. If 
But I feel like once we have that vision, we'll be okay. And yeah, it looks like we were trying to make our way back to our car anyways. Which is actually just up there. And I suppose we could... make our way up to the beetle right now. Let's actually, let's just take a second to turn on the flashlight and see what we're dealing with. We got an acidic, tough zombie, and a regular zombie. Okay, well actually knowing that we've got those zombies there, I'm actually going to come over here and turn on the flashlight and, and just fight them in our own light. Just because I'm kind of getting sick of, of how long this is taking. Yeah, that's fine. I know they're dangerously close, but we've got plenty of, of bolts. They, on the other hand, are melee characters, so this is gonna work out very nicely for us. Oh man, that tough zombie does take some damage though. I should just wait till they get closer. That's really why I should do that. Let's just wait till he gets like right next to us. Or not. We're gonna get acid on us. Great. Luckily for us, uh, that acid will act as damage to the tough zombie if he runs into it. I just don't think he's going to run into it. Unless we do something like this where we kite him onto it. No, doesn't seem to be worth it. Let's just kill this dude. There we go. And see what I mean about having all these bolts? Uh, actually, yeah, stop reloading. I don't like it. Having a, z a sick zombie possibly meleeing us does not seem like a good idea. There we go. Okay, so we got those zombies down. Let's deal with these non-acidic ones first. Let the acid kind of dissipate. Man, we are still glowing. I could have sworn that that would have been gone by now. Oh, stop. Stop with the running. And let's take these. Take them out of the acid pile. And just dismember him, please. Perfect. doing okay. Definitely not super disappointed with our haul. It's a it's a decent haul. We could use a drink apparently even though we're nauseous and can't even think of eating we want alcohol. Oop. I'm hearing some thumping. I don't like that. Uh that dude's about to explode on us, I think. So we're going to just go over here. And... What do I want to do? Let's, uh, let's get the helmet down and wait for him to get right next to us, and then we'll just blast him. And they covered us in bile. I thought that this would have helped with the vision, but it looks like it doesn't. good there. Let's just wait to get this heartbeat down or maybe not. Might have some friends coming over. We'd rather not have our vehicle get smashed so we'll just bring him down here and that should be good. All right that's a uh, what do I want to do here? I kind of don't want to turn on my flashlight. 
so I'm a little bit worried that that might attract more zombies and I would rather not have more zombies to deal with, you know? Uh, hold on, my cat just is trying to go across my keyboard. Okay, there we go. Cats being cats, right? Uh, okay, you can wait here. Oh, look, we're no longer slimed or whatever. You know when the boomers do that? You know what it reminds me of? Sorry, let's just get this heart rate down. It reminds me of... Uh, I don't know if you you guys remember Nickelodeon or not, but like when they had like the green goo... That's when I, what I think of when I imagine a, your character being slimed is like them at like Nickelodeon or whatever. I always wondered what that was, you know? Like what was that, that green goo that they were making? Was it just like gelatin or like potato starch with like food coloring? Like did they ever change the recipe? You know, it's just like a really weird thing. Oh yeah, we were going to get wheels for the solar car, right? Okay, so that's probably what we should work on. Um put this here and let's go find another wheel for this car because then this I think I mean it's got three wheels so it will run but it's only gonna accumulate 0.1% of its battery power every hour so it'll get 2% every day basically is what I'm I'm getting with a little mental math. That's uh, that's pretty slow. Okay, yeah, we already looked at this car. Oop, we got a zombie there. Uh, maybe I can turn off this so we can actually see. Yeah, that'd be useful for this combat. And then we'll be able to get fully aimed on this dude. Yeah, he's not dangerously close. We're fine. It, our, our crossbow malfunctioned. I didn't realize that was even possible. We are hearing some footsteps over there, though. We do want to be kind of careful here. So I'm going to do this one at a time so we don't get all of a sudden just mobbed. Um, Sure. Hope we'll take the USB. I don't think... It has much functionality in it. Northeast, I'm hearing thump, and southeast, I'm hearing crash. A racing slick? I didn't know that was even a thing in the game. Well, if I tried to remove that... I have the tools to do it. Is it just like I need to be able to see or something? I'm confused. It's too dark. Okay, so if we want to actually remove that wheel, that means we have to kill these zombies. But then we probably want to see what we're dealing with before we do that. That's uh... This may be really dumb of me. Just turn on the flashlight for a second. I don't see anything really. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go over here. Maybe our friends will go up north. I think they did. Let's just check out what we're dealing with. Yeah, see, there's quite a few zombies actually around here. We don't want to work on the car. That's not a good idea. Let's run out this way. And we could fight these dudes in the dark. That's definitely something we could do. Now kind of knowing that there was like five or six of them that we need to deal with. You know what? I really am unsure what I want to do. <laughs> I, I think what I want to do is loot these houses. 
because the game doesn't seem to want to let me get a tire from that one car. There's just too many zombies. And I think I remember the wheels being busted on this. Yeah. The hippie van. Yeah. I do remember that. I mean, that group of zombies wasn't particularly dangerous. We could definitely manage. I'm just wondering if it's worth our time or if we should just go around them and just not worry about the tire for now and just do some looting. I think I might do that. Yeah, this... Let's not worry about the tire for now. And that vehicle, as cool as it would be, is not the most practical for us anyways. Um, seeing how we don't have the tech to even use it. This is where I'm thinking, okay, we're kind of hurt. Do I hurt? Do I really want to be looting more? And we're still in the green. Most of it's fine. We're, we still have at least 80 health... Um, I mean, more like 90-ish. So we could go around these houses and then loot up there. Oh yeah, there was this first aid kit. That's what we were doing in the last episode. Do I want to go back for that first aid kit? There were a few zombies around. I mean, the cheese isn't going to be ready for like another day, right? So yeah, I think we should probably keep on looting around these houses. Oh, there's a... Someone followed us. Shadowed zombie. Uh, missed him apparently? Yeah, stop reloading. Maybe we should, uh... Turn on the flashlight for this. Yeah, that's probably a good idea for this combat. He's pretty quick, actually. Um, we could go melee on him. No, I don't think it. I want to do melee on him. Let's just run a little bit further back. Reload. Yeah, that's fine. I think I might actually walk around with, with the flashlight. I think if we are smart, we could probably take out that group of five. And it wouldn't be too bad. We just need to be careful that we don't get overran by others. Unforeseeable zombies. Um, yeah. I also know that Nosh probably really, really, really wants to uh, blow something up. So I am thinking about those fertilizer bombs and how we can make those. Um, what was this that was down here? I can't even remember. I also just kind of want to check this out. Oh, we yeah, we should probably make our way towards that pharmacy. Maybe get Nosh some drugs so he stops hallucinating in the middle of combat. Probably would be a good investment, right? Walk up, get our breath back. Maybe those zombies aren't here anymore. Maybe they ran off. Oh, nope, nope. They're still here. They're definitely still here. <laughs> like, oh, maybe they're not here. Okay, let's take care of the dog at least. Over here. Yeah, there you are. You've seen us, right? Yeah, you have you should have seen us by now. Let's just get them even closer. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Grab the bolt, get in your quiver. Maybe come down here. We'll just wait for them. Someone should follow our, our smell. Uh, maybe stop running. Might be able to find one of them by themselves. Yes, we did. Perfect. And pretty good hit. Uh, we're about to get cornered if we're not smart. 
zombie brute that that's probably the one that can cause us the most pain of all of these enemies even still they're pretty slow so I'm not too worried where are you Mr. Brute I guess they lost track of us I don't know Yeah, just shoot him. There we go. I keep on getting nervous when I'm seeing all those sounds around us. Yeah, and for good reason too. And we could probably get the Jane out and cut these guys up pretty badly if we wanted to do this pretty quickly, but I'd rather not do melee if we have bolts. You know? Oh, man, I can't wait to get a welder and get the pneumatic bolt rifle. We could just chew through this group of zombies so quickly. Okay, ignore. Get those bolts. Maybe smash this guy? Yes. I'll smash that dude while we're in the clear. Fat zombie. Man, really? These bolts I thought were going to be more powerful than this. Okay. Another fat zombie. So, you know, I... <coughs> Sorry. I, um, I was... I don't know why, but earlier today I was thinking about fidgets again. If you're not familiar, fidgets were this thing that was super popular. Oh yeah, now I remember why. I was I was driving my wife crazy because I I have this really bad habit where I'll chew my beard. I don't know if any of you guys do that as well. And yes, unfortunately, I am statistically speaking to a guy. <laughs> um, not unfortunately, it's just kind of the way it is. I was looking at... Random tangent. I was looking at my stats. Um... And it's usually, oh man, I just broke some glass. It's usually, like, my stats of, like, my viewers is, like, 99 point something percent male. And I checked today, it's 99 point, I think, 6? Either point 0.8 or point 0.6. It's, it's crazy how much of a disparity there is between the games I play and the viewership being male. It's... You know, I didn't realize that. I mean, I should have realized that, but I just didn't. Um, you know, I, I don't know. These are kind of those... It's not like Fortnite or something where, like, everyone's seeing it. These types of games, you, like, kind of have to... I don't know, know a coder or something. Did I clear out this area near this car? Can we get a tire? Yeah, we can. Okay, so... Scratch me scratching that earlier. We are going to get another tire for our car. <laughs> uh, let's do the jack. Yep. Now my concern is that we probably left someone unpulped, and so they're going to spring back up, and we're going to have a problem. Oh yeah, it's too dark, right? Um, let's get the flashlight on and hopefully... Oh, there's there's actually a zombie here. Let's leave the flashlight on for a little bit and see if anyone else comes our way. There's a zombie technician over there. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I, I scouted things out before we uh, started working on the car. That technician could prove to be a pain. I'm not too worried. The skeletal brute, though, does concern me. Uh, yeah, there was a few episodes ago where we had the skeletal brute. I bet that's the same one. No, it's got full health, so it's maybe a different one. And I totally forgot to even grab a bashing weapon, so... Yeah. I think we're going to turn that flashlight off.
I mean, now our option is basically either chase him off. I don't know. I think I'm going to just leave our scissor jack here and make a note of it on my map. I know this is a terrible idea. And maybe we'll come back later for the wheel. Because I just kind of want to check out some of these buildings and loot them. I haven't... Have I been inside this building before? I feel like I went around here and looked at these buildings. Yeah, I totally did, because you can see where I, I walked around. Oh yeah, I vaguely remember this now. Might as well check and see what items are, are here. There's a suitcase. Jean jacket. Maybe something else in here? Oop, wrong button. No, not really. Oh yeah, there's the cockroaches. Now I remember. And there was, uh, there was the first aid kit that was in one of these houses or something. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pick up any of that. I'm just also wanting to check out these items. You never know. You never know when there will be something useful. Right, there was like zombies down in the basement, they were like trying to make their way up. I remember that, there was the salt water. And yeah, first aid kit, definitely grab that. And now all the stuff's rotten. Um, okay. I think we're gonna make our way north. And just hope for the best. Uh, sure, this is actually a pretty good find to find dead zombies before we've even been to a place. Uh, there it sounds like there's a number of enemies up north. You know, I, I bet those ants killed the zombies. Giant ants. Yep, we got giant ants around here. So we're actually probably a little bit safer actually here. Because there's giant ants, I know that seems counterintuitive, but I'd rather fight giant ants than zombies. Because zombies have more special abilities that you have to be kind of careful about. There's something going wump up and about, I think around here. Oh, look, some uh, some bullets. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that, um, oh, I totally forgot about my random tangent I was going to talk about. I'm really hoping for some bullets or something. Uh, let's just take aim. I think we'll be able to get, no, maybe not. I was thinking we would be able to get a headshot in before they got a hit, but it was getting kind of close. Ignore, ignore. This dude's gonna make us work for it, isn't he? Oh yeah, so randomly, the thing that I was gonna talk about earlier, fidgets, uh, and me fidgeting, you know, I, I get the need for it, you know? There's a lot of teachers that get really mad with their students, like seriously get mad with their students for needing to like fidget and move, and it's just like that. This is why so many kids struggle in school, is that we're, we're trying to put a square through a triangle. And I, you know, there is definitely some value uh, in being adaptable. I totally, totally see that. But like, sometimes we try and push kids into being certain ways, and I don't like that. I don't think that's the, uh, the, the way. And trust me, I do know the way. Um, I don't, I don't know the way at all. I'm not going <laughs> to pretend I know what I'm really doing. Sounds like there's something underneath us. Ooh, what's this? Well, there's a zombie right there. But we can take care of that super easy. Question is, what else is down here? And where are they? Yeah, just go ahead and drop this. I'd rather 
get this zombie down. Am I not going to be able to get fully aimed shot? No, I'm not. Okay, well, get a mostly aimed shot then. And we'll just melee them. A little brute force for you. And then we'll get back in the quiver. What books do you have here? The White Tiger. What? Tiger Kung Fu? What? Okay, I think Nosh may be becoming a Kung Fu master. I was really hoping to not do Kung Fu with, or like a melee with this character. Um, mostly because my last character was like a Taekwondo expert. On my west and above, I'm hearing smashing, so it sounds like something uh, followed us. So there's something up there. Motorcycle armor? What is that? Is that better than our uh, riot armor? I, it's probably not. I can almost guarantee it's not. I'm just curious about it. It actually encumbers a lot more and it gives a little bit more cut protection. Yeah, no, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. <laughs> I just, I don't know, the sound of it. It's pretty cool. Motorcycle armor, right? And to open that with the dive knife. Okay, well, that's okay. Oh, okay, what's this? This is a furnace, and this is actually a, a water heater that contains fresh water, clean water. Huh. Well, let's just have a little sip of clean water then. And this is going to be a pain we're going to have to knock this open. Um, what would be a good thing to use for that? Probably, I really don't want to use this because it might damage it. I'd rather damage this than the crossbow. Okay, it doesn't... I don't know if that's actually damaging the... Yeah, it is. What is that? Is that a human? It's a human corpse. Next to a gallon of bleach, was this a uh, reference to... Um, what was it I'm thinking of? What is... what? Oh, that's the other thing at our basement. I was very distracted there. Is it... I was gonna say, is there a reference to Project Zomboid? But then the moment was gone. <laughs> Took me too long to fumble through that. Um, it's been about half an hour now, time-wise, so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna end this here. And we'll maybe continue more of this house night looting to, uh, is what I'm thinking. Because it's only midnight. It's crazy how the change in time makes it so that like looting is actually a way better idea now than doing crafting. Because like, everything takes a sixth of the time. So I, yeah, it's like, why craft anything? You can go all over the place. Anyways, I'm going to end here. Thank you for uh, joining me. This has been Orange One.